Hi, welcome back to Find the Answers. In this series of tutorials, we're looking at how to solve PBL scenarios with library research. In previous tutorials in this series, we started to do some preliminary research into a PBL case. In this tutorial, we'll continue with the same case that was outlined before, the 22-year-old woman with pelvic pain, uterine bleeding, and nausea. After you've considered the possible causes of your patient's symptoms and narrowed it down to selected conditions, it's time to review some basic information about these conditions. All the tools discussed in these tutorials can be found in three ways. First, by using the U of T Library Catalog. Second, by searching the title in the eResources tab on the Gerstein homepage. And third, under the link to Clinical EBM on the Gerstein homepage. For basic information on disease, such as the natural progression of disease, common causes, and tests, current medical textbooks are the place to look. Here you can find information on the progression of disease and the types of tests that can be used for differential diagnosis. Medical textbooks are less appropriate for information on the most recent clinical evidence relating to disease because they're always slightly out of date and they may lack the very latest studies. The University of Toronto Library owns, in electronic format, the most recent editions of most major medical textbooks. A couple of highlights include Harrison's Online, which is updated more frequently than the print version, and Books at Ovid, which is a collection of over a thousand books, including some major titles like the Five Minute Clinical Consult. As I mentioned earlier, one of the ways to find all of these resources is by searching the U of T catalog. Let's run a search now, starting from the Gerstein homepage at library.utoronto.ca forward slash Gerstein. Here's how that search would work. In the catalog search tab on the Gerstein homepage, type the keyword for the text you want in the catalog box. Here we're using the keyword obstetrics. Click go. In the list of results, Click the link that limits the results to online materials. If you need to limit your results some more, you can use the links on the left sidebar, which will reduce results by date, subject, and other options. In this tutorial, we looked at finding basic information on diseases. Join me in the next tutorial in this series, where we'll look at the recommended resources for finding differential diagnosis.